If you're trying to lose fat or gain muscle, you've no doubt heard the term flexible dieting. In this video, I'm going to explain what flexible dieting is, where people go wrong and how to do it properly. First up, I'd be incredibly grateful if you hit subscribe and like this video. I've just started out on YouTube and I'm aiming to help as many people as possible. What exactly is flexible dieting? In short, it's allowing inclusion of less nutritious, calorie dense, ultra processed foods like these into your diet. And it doesn't matter if your goal is fat loss, muscle gain or improved health. But let's say your goal is fat loss. To state the obvious, you need to be in a calorie deficit. And using a calorie calculator to work out your daily calorie needs is a logical first step. You can use my calculator for free. I've linked it in the description of this video. Let's say that you've used my calculator and it's given you a fat loss target of 1800 calories per day. Technically speaking, as long as you don't exceed 1800 calories per day over weeks and months, you will lose body fat. So effectively, a flexible diet is simply fitting in these non-optimal foods into your overall diet and aligning them with your calorie targets. And this appears really simple. But here's the problem. As soon as you say people can lose body fat by including pizza, chocolate, fast food and donuts into their diet, this is what people hear. You can lose weight by only eating pizza, chocolate, fast food and donuts. Humans like taking things to extremes and twisting sentences to versions they like better. And as you can see in this example, the diet is pretty much all ultra processed, hyper palatable, calorie dense food eaten within the calorie allowance. And while you would technically lose weight, this isn't what flexible dieting is supposed to be. A flexible diet is supposed to allow inclusion of non-optimal foods not be saturated by them. So this is what a flexible diet is supposed to be. Large amounts of nutritious, satiating foods you enjoy which drive satiety, or in other words, make you feel fuller for longer, a top up on nutrients, and generally give you lasting energy throughout the day. But it still allows room for less nutritious foods, but in smaller quantities, like snacks. Imagine this template as the perfect utopia of nutrients, calorie control and enjoyment to balance your physical and mental health. And that leads me to my next point. Utopia doesn't exist. Yes, I've contradicted myself slightly, but my point is life is never perfect. And trying to achieve the perfect flexible diet is kind of a paradox in itself. And it turns out striving for perfection isn't necessary anyway. Instead, it's important that you have a flexible mind. Here's why. Some days life will throw things at you or you'll have a special occasion. On these days, you'll eat fewer nutrients and excessive calories. And being flexible with your mindset allows you to accept these days for what they are. Single days in your life. In fact, 0.003% of your life. And the reason that you accept these days is because you have knowledge that you can adjust your diet the next day to get back on track. You simply move on. You reintroduce lower calorie nutritious foods that you can eat in higher volumes. This gets your overall weekly calorie target back on track without feeling overly hungry. And instead of completely banning non-optimal foods after the previous day's excess, you still find ways to include them, but you realize that right now they're not a priority. This flexible mind is the final step that allows you to achieve balance with your diet and your mental health. Does this even need to be called flexible dieting? Shouldn't this just be how we eat forever? Let me know in the comments. So in this video, we've established a flexible diet is giving yourself permission to include any food you enjoy whilst recognizing how it influences your dietary goals. A flexible mind is understanding you don't have to reach your goals every day, but that averages over time matter more. Adjusting is becoming skilled at making dietary swaps that enable you to stay on track long term. Having all of these make adherence to long term goals, success and happiness more likely. And that wraps up this video. If you want to find out how you can save 5000 calories per week and lose one to two pounds of body fat by eating virtually the same foods, tap on that bad boy there. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss my next video.